Welcome to the Daily Prophetic Word. And the Daily Prophetic Word for Monday the 11th of November 2019 is Why are you undecided? Why are you undecided if you should establish the dwelling places of Zion? The seals will be opened soon and if you do not come together in sharing and supporting one another, you will not survive. Why are you still living in the world as if nothing will happen? You are not prepared for what will come down onto the earth. Why are you undecided? Only if you build communities outside of the world and its temptations can I protect you and only then you can support one another. Unity will allow you to stand against the dark flood that Satan will pour out in the nations. The Antichrist will be brutal and strong. Do not stay in the world. Why are you undecided? Do you not trust my words in the Bible? I showed you what will happen in the book of Revelation, but you ignore my warnings through many of my messengers. Come out of the world in Babylon and establish my dwelling places of Zion, as I have commanded you. Be my example against the darkness and win as many souls as possible. And this was a daily prophetic word for Monday, the 11th of November, 2019. Why are you undecided? Please, people, watch our video in the Great Exodus series about why are you undecided. Please come forward, establish the dwelling places in Zion, in your neighborhood, in your house. Make it your places of assembly and congregation. Come together in love, unity and support. Because alone you will fail and you will die. Come out of the world. Prepare yourself to step out and separate yourself from the worldly agencies, from the worldly help. Because as soon as the seals are open and the Antichrist will be revealed, then whenever you go for any help in the world, you will be asked to take the mark. When you take the mark, you lose your salvation and your eternal life. No matter how long you were Osas or not, you will lose your salvation and your eternal life when you take the mark. So, if you do not take the mark and you remain in the world, what is the alternative? They will behead you. You will die, a murderer. But that is not necessarily the case. God wants you to fulfill your destiny and purpose on earth, to win souls and to win as many souls as possible. And for that you have to be alive and not dead. So you have to come out of the world and separate yourself. Become the banner and standard of the Lord against this dark flood that is coming. So build the dwelling places of Zion. If you do not know how, just contact me. Send me an email at triplegrace55 at gmail.com and I will answer you what to do step by step. Come together. Bring the people into unity with the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, so that God can send forth his Holy Spirit as he did in Acts 2, so that you can then go forward boldly and proclaim the kingdom that is at hand, and that the people should repent and change their lives. This is your time now, and if you do not follow this right now, then you will die as a murderer if you are too Christian, or you will lose your salvation if you take the mark. What would be the worst that could happen? So now decide. Decide. The time of decision is here. Many people have to decide what to do now. Either keep their comfortable life in the world or step out and do the work of the Lord. But then you have to separate yourself from the world and from any false church, and from any false preaching, and from any false spirit, and from any false Jezebel. Now is the time to make a decision. Please do it right now. For any questions, send, send them to me at our ministry email, triplegrace55 at gmail.com. Thank you that you listen, listen to this daily prophetic word. Very soon, we will have a new website up and running that will be a surprise for you and for many, and I hope you will like it. I think by mid of next week it will be ready. Then I will announce it and I will give you the link. But please, if you are guided, 
help us and so into the ministry so that we can spread the message of coming together and building the dwelling places to all the nations. Assist us. This is the time to share resources. This is the time to come together to support one another. And this is the time to go for the lost ship of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you that you have listened. May God bless you and your family abundantly. And I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Maranat.